And welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It is uh, time for a level up. I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it safe. Just, just hammer the guy, you know. No, nothing fancy. Uh, I think. I mean, I do have the FP for it, so I might as well. Uh, Joshi can actually use the. Actually, I think Joshi's thing can do it. I might as well. I, 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 like, this is like the second time, and probably like, like the only other time I'm gonna do this. And I think like right after Joshi uh, whistles, then you can do the stylish. I guess that was maybe actually 10 damage instead of, uh, like, 8? I don't know. I'm not really good with counting. You know, that was really fast, as you can tell. To get that BP up, there we go. Ha ha ha. Uh, I'm not gonna put on that extra Quake Hammer. But I could. No, I. And I think, uh, yeah, it requires more FP, so I don't think I'm really gonna do that. And. <clears throat> huh. I don't- I genuinely don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna save it. What the hell? Okay, uh, gonna use Bobbery. Toss him over. And with that, this conveyor belt is started. But, there's a little uh, metal wall in the way, but with uh, Vivian, just as before. You know, this is like the... This is actually like the second time I... Well, it's not exactly the same, you know. Instead of like the thing that's in the way moving, we were moving. So, you know, it is different. You see Vivian stretching down to the floor there, kind of funky. Kind of funny and funky and crazy and shazy and hazy and blazy and weird. So you can like use these platforms to get onto that uh, ultra shroom, but I'm not gonna go to that because I don't want to use these items. I think I'm supposed to go with this pipe first. I'm pretty sure. Um. I don't really know. Yeah, to hit this switch, yeah. That is an important thing. It uh, swipes it away and unveils a staircase. But I cannot use that staircase and you can see Vivian kind of being uh, sectioned off kind of strangely. That I mean, it... it, it I, I, I should really clarify, it's not like a, a graphical glitch with the game itself. It's just the emulation, you know? It's 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 weird, I know, but it happens. Uh, I'm gonna have to wait a while for this uh, platform platform to the right to... to, uh, you know, align itself with this one, right? Okay, there I go. Could have had some problems there. Do a fancy old spin jump and <laughs> almost do one. Kind of funny there. Alright, this is going to be kind of tricky, so I'm going to be here at the... Oops, that was the wrong button to push. At the edge and then go from here. A card key! And, and uh, a Z yucks. I... I I think I can maybe spin jump on it from here. Let's do some let's do some uh, assassin Assassin's Creed kinda strats or it isn't it isn't it gonna patrol back here? Really? It's just not gonna be there? Ah, what the hell. Might take a little damage. Ooh, that was a close one. Almost got struck there. Woohoo! Alright, that was completely pointless with the, the, the repel cape effect. 
I tell you what, this uh, this uh, lucky start or whatever it is, really good badge. I should try it out sometime. Give me all this uh, HP and FP all the time. Great news. It's great because you know there's so many battles. Uh, if you get to the floor there, then you can get to the pipe over there, and then to this one. So it's gonna take you back because you go through this one. Um. I don't think I'm gonna hit that save block, even though I probably should. And you know, whatever. I can't imagine that the boss would be like super hard, but well, I, I, I think I really should save actually. Except I can't go back to that that save. Ah. Uh, Damn it! Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm just. I, I. I think I can take it, right? Right, guys. Right. I can do this. Let's do this. Yeah. I gotta believe in myself. I can do it. You know, it's gonna be a boss. I know. But god damn it, it's not the worst thing in the world. I tell you what. Just hop on over. Oh. oh, it looks like I'm gonna get to that uh, save block anyways. Because I go through this pipe and then go through this pipe and then. Because I can't jump. White Mario's cannot jump. Funny enough, there's this. You know, that heart block. I think the previous heart block asked for 20 coins, but this one only 10 for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because I don't use them? I don't know. Maybe it's just, uh, maybe it, it's always that way. <laughs> and you can see Vivian kind of stretching up, and now, now there's, now she's <laughs> doing that again. Uh, t whatever. That, you know. Uh, please, please, please don't get out of the way. Please don't get out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in a bit of a rush here, if you don't mind. If you don't mind, I would like it if you were faster. That would be great. I'd like to get this over with quickly. Not sure how I'm going to upload these, honestly. Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, can I get to the... the? Okay. And then get to this one. Uh, I don't think I need to do, needed to go all the way there. So I'm actually going to go back here. Uh, I'm, I'm a little confused here, but, yeah. I need to go to the uh, middle pipe. That's it. Yeah. I don't think I can jump from here to that pipe. Pretty sure there's a wall. Can't go past that wall. Uh, kind of tricky here, I tell you what. So, down the pipe, and finally I can go up the staircase and use the new card key I got to open up this. Um, I guess Goombella would be best for this. What we're gonna find here is a familiar face. It's Lord Crump. Our, our old buddy, Lord Crump. Ah, yes. You again. Yes, what are you talking about? Oh, really? Well, that is a kind of a brilliant plan, you know? Oh, oh, really? Huh. Well, then. <laughs> Yeah, novice villain style, but Crump is Crump is not a novice villain. He's an apprentice villain. <laughs> he's not adept, you know. I mean, he's trying he's trying out this again. Like, really? I mean, sure, like it's cool, and and it and it does have that raw horsepower and all. Like, I think it has like two defense and quite some attack power, I guess. But I can take it. Let's do this. Yeah. 
Might actually, probably actually gonna see like it actually do that thing with the, uh, you know, bringing out the, uh, the, the fists. Well, that's, uh, not exactly useful, but whatever. Well, let's start off with a good old power lift. Goombella will deal lots of damage with her head bonks as long as I go and get them properly, but I think I can. Alright, there we go. Yeah, lots of powering up here, I tell you what. Oop, I, oh, it's a little too fast for my, for my chops here. Alright, maybe, uh... I uh, didn't quite get three and three, but hey, this is pretty good anyways. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Magnus Drill Attack, uh-oh. It's a double hitter, but <laughs> Mario's just... Mario's just gonna tank it, I tell you what. I guess I might as well do a spring jump. Let's, let's, let's make it flashy, huh? Yeah! Well then, I could do a multi-bonk, but I don't think that's fair. That's not fair, you know. Buh -huh -huh. Yeah, about time, pal. You know, your health. You're getting beaten up there, pal. Yeah, there we go. Um, Mario can take the hits from these things, actually, so I'm not concerned about it. I'm just going to do a basic uh, spin jump, you know. Eh. Uh, that's a rock. That's a rock. Stupid dry bones. And all sorts of enemies out here, huh? This is a shout out to all you enemies out here today. So many of you. I love you all. Uh-oh. Oh, no, not the audience, no! I was just, I was just appreciating them a moment ago. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, this is, this is gonna hurt. Kind of. <laughs> oh, wow, there's like some booze with like, kind of grimaces there. Like, frowning. <laughs> well, that power is gone, but I think it's a good time. To and keep Mario in front, actually, and I'm just gonna keep hitting him because you know it, it's what's best. And I'll do a uh, a fiery jinx to you know blast them all. There we go. All that health is down, and it looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like he's going down already. Oh boy. Ah, but then there's this attack. Pretty nasty. I think, uh, so how are my partners? Uh, Vivian is the only one that's like hurt much. So I'm gonna do a sweet treat for her, you know, make her feel better. Uh, I'm not gonna keep her out also. I don't think it's best, you know. Make her feel better and maybe I'll do a sweet treat for Goombella. You know, she's, she's a real star player. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, there we go. Oh, maybe I can get... In yeah, sevens across the board. Not the best I can do, but quite good. So, do a quick change to uh, Goombella over here. She's gonna be hurting, but whatever. Oh no, it's breaking them out again. Please, don't hurt me. Alright. Time to finish him off. Uh, I'm just gonna do... Actually, I'm just gonna head bonk him. That should do it. There we go. Defeated. Ha <laughs> ha. Pathetic. As usual. Lord Crump, you just, you just never learn. And as it blows up... Looks like Lord Crump is blasting off again. It's actually kind of sad. Now he's like stuck in space or something. Maybe he's starting a new race of space people who are plotting to to, to take revenge someday. 
But for now, we got the Crystal Star. And it got the special move Supernova, deals a lot of damage, uses up a lot of star power, but it's pretty easy to do. And so, it's the end of chapter already. Indeed. So it looks like this uh, this video is going to be a rather short one. I guess um, I could upload these on the same day. I don't know. Eh. I'll figure it out. So that's going to be it for this uh, this uh, part. This chapter of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We got all the crystal stars, so there's only one thing left. And you know what? What the hell? I'm gonna keep going. It's gonna hurt my voice. I should have a drink of water, actually. Well, I actually got some tea. Honest tea. Half and half. Well, we're here. Now where's this stupid Poshly Sanctum? Crystal Star's there, right? Gotta get my Vowser voice, Vowser voice, together. <clears throat> Great. About time something got worked out for old Bowser. In we go. But let's check out some of these. Oh wow, this girl's like outside of her house. Whoa there. What? That's disgusting. Get away from me, psycho. You can't have my horns. Burn. Burn in hell. That's, 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 that's just crazy. But funny. But still crazy. Funny because it's crazy. And then this one's just... This girl's just afraid. Afraid. You know, just 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 scared. This guy doesn't even care, man. <laughs> uh, oh, really? Well, that could happen, you know? Hey, you two, how you doing? <laughs> They're not even... Uh, again, and uh, like... Uh, it, it's just... It's just less and less care, you know? Oh, man. Again, you know, some 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 spectacular uh, humor here. <laughs> oh man, all this philosophy and stuff. Whoa, I don't have a clue what you're talking about. People scare me seriously. Jeez. I think I'm not sure which to pick. Everyone, I mean, I bet everyone picks, like, Koopa Coot. And, I guess, like, second for Evil King. But I kind of like the word extraordinaire, but... Let's go with Businessman of Legend. I am Bowser, Businessman of Legend. Fear my accounting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Business trips, brown bribes, and brown noses. Oh my. <laughs> Oh, that's 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 a sick burn. Oh man, I am glad I picked that option. I guess like Koopa Coot, like Bowser will say, oh he's, I guess a uh, a spy or something. Darn it! Whoa, baby, awesome! It opened. Talk about lucky. I guess rage really pays. All right. So <laughs> Bowser thinks he got it yet again. Yes, this is it, Taggy. I find this is finally it. <laughs> he even has like a little little ditty for him. <laughs> At last, I've gotten in my mitts on a crystal star. Yes. <laughs> yes, the best. Nothing but the best for Bowser. Bowser is nothing but the best, really. 
<laughs> Common thieves, aren't you? Huh? And now you can say that again. I, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna stick to the businessman thing. Like the first one. Okay. This one, I don't think it would be really that funny. Let's go with Koopa Coot. I am the great Koopa Coot. I am taking this. Mess with me, and I'll bore you to death. <laughs> oh man. It's a fake. What? A fake? And indeed, it shatters again. <laughs> yeah, it's posh, like poshly. Oh! It's far out post. Oh! It's... I don't know. You've got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ah! Those bout those, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time. Oh man, <laughs> oh, Bowser just can't catch a break, huh? Well, he is going to because uh, he's going to get some uh, some important info from this rather um, disrespectful Goomba, Para Goomba, that is, sir and ma'am. Yes, indeed. So they know they're coming. They're, they're, they they know. What? The thousand year door? What the? What in the heck is that? Ah! Then I'm going there too immediately, and I'm gonna ruin Mario. Oh yeah, yeah. And Bowser, he's gonna be stronger than ever. I tell you what. Not actually stronger than he was in Paper Mario 1, but still a force to be reckoned with. I tell you what. So that's going to be it for this part of Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Next time, we're going to go over to The Thousand Year Door. Goodbye.